Welcome to the Rome Liner Board Mill. Your safety and the safety of others while working at our site are most important. This presentation will introduce you to safety guidelines that must be followed while at the Rome Mill. All aspects of safety must be followed at all times. Safety is your responsibility. The success of the Rome Mill depends on all employees being individually responsible for their own personal safety and health, along with the safety and health of their co-workers, contractors, and vendors. To realize this, we will minimize the safety and health impact of our activities by 1. Performing all tasks in a safe manner 2. Operating in a safe manner that reduces the risk of incidents 3. Training all employees to perform their assignments in a way that recognizes and manages safety and health risk 4. Identifying, assessing, and managing the hazards of current and potential future mill operations and their impact on the safety and health of employees. 5. Maintaining emergency preparedness plans and response capabilities. Systematically manage safety and health performance by 6. Addressing safety and health concerns at all phases of our activities. 7. Determining the root cause of safety and health system failures and implementing corrective action to eliminate or minimize recurrence. 8. Developing aligned goals and standards and ensuring responsibilities are assigned and understood to achieve continual improvement. 9. Committing appropriate means and resources to meet stated safety and health goals and standards are to comply with applicable laws and regulations. 10. Developing dialogue with employees and other interested parties concerning our safety and health objectives and performance. 11. Requiring contractors and suppliers to fully comply with our safety and health standards. 12. Maintaining measurement systems for leading safety and health indicators. Safety is a core value of the Rome Mill corporate strategy at all levels of the organization. It includes the requirement that all employees are expected to work safely, confront unsafe acts, take positive steps to resolve safety issues, actively work to improve safety policies and procedures, and are accountable and responsible for their safety performance. Report all unsafe conditions to your PM. Know the location and the proper use of safety equipment. Safety showers, fire extinguishers, eye wash stations, etc. Ask if you're not sure. Only qualified personnel shall operate powered machinery, tools, or mobile equipment. All operators must have a valid equipment operator certification readily available for review. Alcohol, drugs, ammunition, and firearms are prohibited on the Rome Mill property. The Rome Liner Board Mill reserves the right to search all vehicles, buildings, toolboxes, and hand-carried containers for contraband. Do not operate equipment until all safety guards are in place. Temporary safeguards or barriers are acceptable when approved by your PM. Cameras are not permitted on mill property without prior authorization. Horse play on mill property is forbidden. Smoking is allowed in designated areas only. Exits, stairways, corridors, passageways, fire and emergency equipment free of obstructions. For fire, medical emergency or rescue, the emergency number at the wrong mill is 911 from a plant phone or channel 7 on mill radio. 
A hazardous chemical release should be reported to the PM immediately and must include location of the release, time of the release, name of the material released, and type of container the chemical is stored in. There are local alarms in each department of the mill. These alarms warn you of a hazardous situation and you should leave the area immediately. Notify your supervisor or PM. Alarms include hydrogen sulfide, recovery boiler rapid drain system. When in doubt, evacuate and contact your PM and supervisor. Personal hydrogen sulfide monitor must be utilized in areas of potential release. Process safety boundaries for the turpentine recovery process are defined by inlet gas off header block valves at the north and south cyclone separators, flame arrester on the NCG collection system, and common turpentine block valve in the turpentine drain line located near the main mill water header. This is an aerial view of the turpentine system. The boundaries described in the previous slide are clearly marked on the ground. Work within this boundary requires specialized training provided by the Rome Mill. Your PM can schedule this training. There are two types of confined spaces. One is a permitted confined space and one is a non-permitted confined space. Both confined spaces are clearly labeled. Confined space entry is a zero tolerance policy. Any violation will result in immediate dismissal. Definitions and procedures are clearly described in the Raw Mill Safety Manual. Your PM will assist you in all confined space entries. You must comply with 29 CFR 1910.146. Elevated work shall be performed only after all potential hazards have been identified. Proper equipment is available and employees have been trained to perform work above floor or ground level. Fall protection is a zero tolerance policy. Violations will result in immediate dismissal. Platforms and scaffolds will be built according to OSHA standards. All scaffolding will be inspected and tagged by a competent person and the tag attached to the scaffolding. Portable straight ladders shall be equipped with safety feet and tile for a body harness, lifeline, and lanyards will be used when working at or above six feet. Unless working on a scaffold or platform with approved handrails, cage, and tow board. 100% tile is required at the wrong middle. Powered lifts and platforms must comply with CFR 1910 and 1926. All personnel in the basket or platform must wear a body harness and lanyard attached to the boom or basket at all times. The Rome Mill Safety Manual and PM are your sources for any questions on elevated work. electrical work performed will be in accordance with NFPA 70-E rules. Unaccompanied entry into electrical load centers is forbidden. 100% cotton long sleeve shirts must be worn in these areas. For complete information on PPE requirements, consult your Rome Mill Safety Manual and your PM. Whenever activities are within 10 feet of the center of the nearest railroad track, a blue flag and derailer will be placed 50 feet from the work area in both directions when possible. The blue flag is the same as a lockbox and is a zero tolerance policy. The blue flag policy is clearly described in the Raw Mill Safety Manual. The contractor shall inform the PM when work is to be performed near a railroad track.
speed limit is 15 miles per hour inside the fence unless conditions warrant slower speed. Mays Bridge Road is 20 miles per hour. No parking within 25 feet of a fire hydrant or firefighting equipment. Passengers are forbidden on vehicles not designed for carrying passengers. Riders must be seated in the cab or in the bed of a truck with the tailgate up. All vehicles in the mill are subject to search. Safety is the most important part of the Rome Mills operation. Safety is your responsibility. If you are uncertain about the safety aspects of any job, stop. Never take a risk. The Rome Mill Safety Department, your PM, and the Rome Mill Safety Manual are your tools. Use them.